All right, what I have here tonight is a couple of uh, LED oscillator circuits. And uh, this one here that I just started working on uh, is Laser Sabers SJR Looper. This is version 3. Uh, there's a couple of things different, but basically it's that uh, version 3 of Laser Sabers SJR Looper. Look it up. Go over to his website. And this is that uh, Russian LED um, circuit that I showed in my last video with no explanation. This is what it really draws. Way up there about uh, 200 milliamps at 5 volts. But I used a 5 farad super cap instead of what was called for on the circuit diagram to make it look like it was running really, really cool. But it doesn't. Uh, perhaps it's my transformer. Perhaps I've done something wrong. I don't know. But uh, it does not self-run. This doesn't either. But that right there is running at 1 milliamp. That is a 1 farad uh, 5 volt uh, supercapacitor. And I charged it up with this uh, cell phone charger. It's a hand crank dynamo cell phone charger. It's also a flashlight and the batteries inside it are dead. And um, the main reason for this video is to show something that I found out with this that I thought was very interesting. But let me go back to this. Uh, this is the uh, cell phone charger. Uh, what they call power bank. Um, that's the voltage uh, display and amperage right there. And this is the uh, the Russian uh, self-runner, supposedly, that's running on uh, stored energy in that capacitor. And a 5 farad 2.7 volt super cap will run this for a few minutes and uh, makes a good show. Uh, you will also work off of that wireless cell phone charger. If you just uh, set it on top of that cell phone charger, this will light up. Now, somebody caught me on this, <laughs> and the date was wrong. It uh, was, it was uh, April, and uh, I put down May. And this is what happens when you retire and you're older, is you lose track of time. And sometimes it's days, sometimes it's months. And it's the joy of getting older and being retired is... Uh, you have the luxury of time's not so important anymore. But anyway, that was the Russian um, circuit. And this one here is what I thought was the neatest thing, though, is, and this was an accident. I was looking at this thing here, and I had charged this thing up with this. This is a cell phone charger, and uh, this will run for several hours, believe it or not, on that one farad super cap. And but I went ahead and by accident pushed the on-off button on the flashlight and look what happened. The flashlight runs off of the super cap backwards through the wire and that was really really interesting to find out. This will only run for a few minutes with that big of an amp draw on it but I found that was a very interesting uh, thing that I didn't know that the wire would feed backwards into the cell phone charger. Let me take the wire off. I'll show you what I mean. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work anymore with the internal battery. The internal battery is gone. The generator, of course, still works, but uh, not the battery. But anyway, this is, a, like I say, this is a laser sabers. SJR Looper, and I don't get the big brightness out of the one I built here, but it'll run for a couple hours on that uh, one farad supercapacitor. Uh, this is a sewing machine bobbin with about 30 gauge Litz wire, and I went ahead and used the Litz wire. I had it on hand. Uh, the standard uh, Looper circuit, except that I'm using uh, two meg ohms of resistance on the base and uh, I've got a ferrite core in the bobbin and uh, I think it was uh, called for 100 wraps on the primary and 200 on the secondary and just go over to his website and look up the uh, version 3 SJR Looper 
and that's what that is right there. But anyway, there's the two uh, the two devices, and uh, this makes a really good uh, show, and uh, I enjoyed building this thing here. But um, I'm not it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, this one here does, and this little thing here, I got a big bang out of that, and I've been working. Uh, quite a bit with that circuit, that SJR looper circuit, using different capacitors and of course different kinds of uh, transformers. And I've gone ahead and ordered the ferrite uh, core and bobbins from uh, Nebraska Surplus to try to replicate Laser Saber's uh, current one that he's showing, which is version 4. So anyway, that's the latest with my little uh, LED circuits. Thanks for watching.